take oh, two. Okay. That's Kirsten, and I'm Andy. We had worked on our boat for nearly a year before taking a quick break in Paris. Now fully recharged, we're back, and we had every intention of removing the old engine in this trip. But if you don't know by now, refits rarely go according to plan. Our new engine is massively delayed, and so we had to rearrange the priorities of this trip. So last time, we took out the broken generator, and this time, we will cross off several little jobs on our to-do list. So we go down. We're just gonna, you guys can focus on like, what do you wanna clean, what we need to clean, what supplies you need, and you and I will start taking a look at like the engine room and figuring out like our um, buy list to really get the project going. And then you guys are gonna be thinking about like, I mean, even if we could get rid of like that old mattress and stuff this weekend. Well, if we can figure out some way to like cut up an old foam mattress and pull it out piece by piece. Razor knife should go through that. Okay. Yeah, just have to go through yeah. it a couple times. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be, be the project. Port is the left side. And I remember that because port has four letters and left has four letters. So no matter where I am, if I'm looking at my left hand, no. Well, you got to be facing towards. <laughs> that's the that's the catch. All right, is, there's. The, I knew there was a catch. <laughs> so it's like it's like the boat's left hand, which right? like you would. This is the normal way you would look at a boat, right? Yes. Yes. So the left is port if you're facing forward, but that's the normal the normal way you would look at a boat. So when Andy sure. yells out port, go to this side, go or to don't go to that side. Depends on what he's yelling about. <laughs> <laughs> if he's saying shark on the port side, then go to the starboard side. Let us know in the comments if there's an easier way to remember part of port, <laughs> part. port and starboard. Did you see your... Uh... Or should we just label the boat? First the item board. on the to-do list is to remove the old mattress. Yeah, turn the latches, yeah. Ooh That's heavenly. Yeah, so it's just kind of getting to town back here. That mattress is going to be the a big pain to deal mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, lift this up real quick though. Like the grid's saying. Okay, what is the grid doing? The grid is just one, raising the mattress up for air, and then two, this is the actuator for the electronic autopilot, and it sticks up above the bed. Okay, what's the number system? Well, you can see, look, it's like two matches with two, two matches with oh, two. Oh, just to put it back and together. Two matches with three, yeah. Oh. Well, we could take that up there. Um, no, I want to keep it down here. You got it or you need help? I got it. Okay, she says she's got it. We're going to let her get it. Okay. Until she can. Because she got it over all the obstacles. <laughs> you got it. tough to get out but we have it out now and feeling super accomplished so let's go dump all of the trash bags and the mattress stuff over the side so we can load it in the truck so we can put it into the dumpster One of the things on the to-do list was to deep clean every inch of the boat. And my mother-in-law Susan, bless her sweetheart, because she will happily clean anything if you just give her the right supplies. That was a successful trip to the dollar store to get cleaning supplies. Now we're going to head to 
the hardware store to get more of the specialty item. We made it to the hardware store. We have a bet going on amongst all of us to see how many times we go to the hardware store this week. What do you think? 14. 14. <laughs> I'm a little bit more optimistic. I think it'll be like four or five. 14 is just what I always say. <laughs> Not, you know, Hopefully it's not 14 wow. visits to the hardware store. It ended up being only five. Here we are at the hardware store. This is trip number five. Hopefully our last trip. All right, so we have our cleaning supplies. We have our bucket. So now we need to go get some water. So let's go down the ladder. Kirsten says I've been stalling. That's probably partially right. I met this dude named Bill. Bill was awesome. Bill also owns a Golf Star 50, literally three boats down from us in the yard. I think he's very familiar with the boats. He says he's rebuilt a lot of them. Says he's actually really familiar with our boat because he's known the previous two owners and helped them with a lot of projects. So it was really good to kind of talk to him. But uh, that means I probably spent like an hour talking to him. Um, let's go see what is going on. So, after getting the big generator out, which was right here, I'll show you where that was, the next things to get pulled out are the compressors for um, both the refrigeration and the counter, because we're not going to use what's there, we're going to get a different solution, and the AC compressors, which will come out later. And while I was talking to Bill, uh, Don, no rest for Don, Don just gets after it. There is no Freon in the lines. The prior owner told us there's no Freon, they need charged. Yeah, but well, if there's no Freon, that means that it's... There's a leak. Yeah, it means it's getting out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And they're uh, electri electrically very inefficient. So we'll get new units instead. I don't know if you can feel underneath it. There's a big flat head. But yeah. there's nowhere to grab anything, so it just turns. See? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Water pump off of the old air conditioning unit. I about threw it away, but then it dawned on me. I don't even know if it works or not. So we're gonna test it at some point in time. And if it works, we'll keep it as a spare. So we can use it for other water pump applications. You can't be laughing while you're in a mouth trumpet. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. That's okay. so just... How? It's... See, it's not bad. I like it. As you can see, the three of us are really hard at work 
Meanwhile, Dad is down in the engine room doing all of the work. <laughs> Three quarters. Which is usually where he likes to be. We're going back him to... him an engine. And We're gonna call it. We're calling it. Oh, we gotta like pick everything up. Sorry, I blocked you. Oh. And this is... Oh. What? I don't like it sliding on the... This is what? What is this? Oh. Air conditioning compressor. Okay. Is that all or are there Get more? Get rid of it. There's one more. There's one these more. guys. Alright guys, uh, I'm going down the ladder if I don't fall to move the car because Andy and my dad have a brilliant idea to throw the old air conditioner off the back of the boat. Things heavier than that uh, other thing. Hey, let's, uh, let's sit it down for a second. So we have to make sure we clear the dinghy. Yeah, I'm saying we swing it out on the outside of the... You know, move the padding? Yeah. Absorb a little bit of oh, it. Oh, is that... We have padding on the ground. You got something to aim for. Oh, dude, we're not... <laughs> Closer? Closer. Do you think this is going to make a chance? In case it bounces, you got to be like... All right, I'm ready. In case it rolls. Ready to move. Please don't hurt yourself. Is it, act, is it one, two, three, go, or one, two, go on three? One, two, three, go. <laughs> the age old question. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh. That wasn't so bad. A, I am glad we put the, uh, the padding down though. Yeah. So I think that would have taken a pretty big divot out of it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Know. To Could have been worse, I guess. One of the things that I love about my family and Kirsten's is that everyone values both hard work and having fun. So after several long days of hard work, it was finally time to treat ourselves to a little bit of fun in the Airbnb's pool. <laughs> Old habits die hard, y'all. How many years as a lifeguard? Too many. Too many is her answer. Eight. Seven, eight. Some people just never change. <laughs> so Fike keeps like flopping his way into the pool. Turns out the life jacket was as much padding as it was flotation. Capping off this day with uh, food at the lighthouse. So, another day we're back at the boat. We are going to go to the bookstore and maybe that'll lift our spirits. 